Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a bright and colourful look for you with some kind of teals and purples and pinks. So um, the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using is this one. It is the Urban Decay 15 year anniversary palette and once you open it up, take the lid off, you get these 15 eyeshadows and I'm pretty sure you can probably see a reflection of yourself in all of the purple. So um, yeah, I'm going to be using this today. So yeah, if you want a close up look, that's kind of what it looks like. So to get straight into it, I've got the Benefit Hula um, bronzer as a contour, but I don't have that to hand to show you, but it's in plenty of my videos, so I'm sure you've seen it at some point. And then as a blusher, I've got this, which is the Urban Decay Afterglow Glide on Cheek Tint. Now this came free with the purchase of that. So um, yeah, it's really nice. It's kind of, it's a cheek and lip tint. So um, yeah, I use this on the apples of the cheeks. And I've also used it on my lips before and it does sort of stay for quite a while. And then my moisturiser is the um, MSF Soft and Gentle from, I was going to say Urban Decay, but it's MAC. Um, so you're going to start with a primer. So I have got my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And you're just going to apply this to the lid. And then you're going to blend it through. And you're going to take it all the way up to the brow. And then you're also going to want some underneath keep all these lovely colours in place. So the first colour I'm going to take from this palette is this bottom one here which is a nice sort of turquoise colour, it's called Deep End and this is going to go on kind of the, the middle third of the eye but not quite all the way across the middle third. So we're just going to pat it on starting here and then we're just going to place it just in a small little patch really. You're not going to make it, like I said, all the way across the third. So we're going to place it about there and then I'm just going to pat it out to blend it slightly. And you want to make sure you get to the, as close to the lash line as you can. Then the next colour I'm going to take is this one here. It's called Ace. It's kind of like um. I don't really know how to describe it actually. It's a really nice colour. It's got kind of like a, a dark greyish green shade to it. It's, it's a really beautiful colour. That's my brush falling on the floor. So yes, this colour is just going to butt right up against the deep end. And it's going to go all the way across the rest of the lid. You can leave a little patch of the lid left on the outer corner if you want to because we're going to place another colour yet. So you're just going to make sure that this is right up against the deep end and then just pat it together to make sure it's all nice and blended. And then the next colour I'm going to take is this one here called Evidence. It's just a beautiful navy blue. Um, it's fairly matte, there is a tiny bit of shimmer to it but the majority of it comes off matte. So you're just going to pat this on the outer corner, on the very, very outer corner just to bring in a bit of depth. So it's going to go on the outer corner here and then in kind of like the outer V area as well. So we're just going to pat it right there. Now at this point you're going to want to take a blending brush just to blend out all these colours a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Just windscreen wipe motions and that will blend that through. And then the next colour I'm going to take is this one here. It's called Half Truth. Um, it's I don't know if you can actually tell, it's kind of like a multi-tonal greyish purple colour. It doesn't come out grey, it doesn't come out purple, it kind of comes out in the middle. So it's a really, really pretty colour. Now this is going to go in our crease area, so you're just going to create small circles and work this over to about where the deep end finishes or starts, however you want to refer to it. So we're just going to keep going until we are happy with the colour placement and the blend. Now also what you want to do is just to make sure that you get the depth of that outer corner into the crease. We're going to pick up a tiny bit of that navy blue called Evidence and just place that right on the outer corner here. So we're just going to keep blending this colour upwards towards the eyebrow so that we're happy with the amount that it has blended out. We are going to blend this out with another colour in a moment but you just want to make sure that you're doing as much work as you can for now. So the next colour I'm going to take is called Tainted, it's this top colour here and it is a beautiful shade of a pale pink, a baby pink with shimmer in it 
it's very pigmented that's just one swipe through the eyeshadow so make sure you tap this off to get off the, um, the falloutness if that makes sense and then you're just going to run this just where the half truth finishes so small circles or windscreen wiper motions and it will help to blend out the half truth colour and it also just gives a little bit of a pinky sheen to the look as well and then the only colour I'm going to use that's not from this palette is um, my highlight colour which is MAC Vanilla because every colour that could be used as a highlight in this palette is shimmery and I really don't want to have a shimmery highlight because it's already quite intense on the eye so what you can do is you're just going to place this at the highest point and just blend it around the brow bone area and it will just place the highlight nicely that's my cat scratching by the way um, so yeah I'm just going to pick up a little bit more tainted and just place that again where the half truth finishes and give it a nice pink colour then also while I'm at the tainted still I'm just going to pick some of that up and just place it on the inner third of the eye that we left bare earlier and then also taking a little smudge brush like this I'm just going to pick the tainted up and just place that on the inner tear duct area and the inner third of the lower lash line and then for the lower lash line I'm going to pick up some more of the Ace colour which is this one here that kind of multi-tonal greyish green colour and you're just going to run this along the lower lash line and you're going to meet it all the way up with the tainted on the inner corner um, this colour is very pigmented as well so again be careful make sure you tap off all of the extra and like I say just run this along the whole lower lash line and meet it up with the tainted and then I'm going to go back to the evidence which is this navy colour just a tiny bit of that is needed just on the outer corner to just kind of match the outer part of the crease here and the lower part and then I'm going to go back with a tiny bit of half truth which is here this is just going to blend out slightly all the colours that have been placed on the lower lash line so you're just going to work it back and forth and it will blend it all out and then last but not least for the shadows back to the deep end and I am just going to tap my brush in so so lightly with that and this is just going to go where the ace meets the um, tainted so you're just going to dab it on just to give that little bit of brightness from here up here into the lower lash line as well so now you're going to want to line your um, waterline and I have got the MAC Graph Black Technicolor Pencil like that and you're just going to line the lower lash line waterline even and then I'm going to go back with my smudge brush and just make sure that that is all butting up against that nice intense eyeliner and then I'm also going to take this eyeliner and just apply it very very thinly to the top lash line just to make the lashes look a little bit thicker than they are I'm just going to thicken it out slightly at the outer corner and then with my smudge brush just give that outer corner a bit of a blend so it blends in with the rest of the look so, for mascara I have got my usual mascaras, I have got my Clinique Lash Power and my Clinique Lower Lash Mascara. So you want to apply these to the look now. You can use whatever is your favourite mascara, these are both black so it's just going to give some more intensity to the look. Okay, so that's the eyes done. So for lips, you just want to apply something neutral or with a minimum sort of colour payoff so that it's not interfering with the um, eyes. So I'm going to be using my Milani 3D Lip Gloss and this is in number 42 Stylish. And I'm just going to apply this to the lips.
and that is it that is the look complete so yeah just a peach new lip and some bright colorful eyes and you're all good to go so whether you're going out for the night or you're just going out to socialize i mean i'm going out later but i would wear this during the day so um i'm not really afraid of color so some people are doesn't matter anyway yes um <laughs> this is the final look i hope you like it um i would highly recommend this palette all the colors are really pigmented and you know there's plenty of neutral colors as you can see from this side and then there's plenty of just bright colors so it's a really good palette and um, I wasn't paid to say that, I just do, do actually really like that, and I um, bought that with my own money. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, and until my next video, I shall see you all soon. Bye!